this disabled gaming reviews let's play it's best enjoyed in front of a computer monitor and or tablet with the speakers on and to any epileptics out there please watch this in a well-lit environment to reduce the risk of any potential seizures this DJR place party is also unofficially sponsored by boom and mini boom in air so boom and mini boom are a geek boutique where if you're looking for things like dragon ball mugs alien figurines etc etc definitely check them out did I also mention that they're an official Warhammer retailer? So if you're looking for extra fire team squads to add to your Tau army, definitely check them out. They are located opposite Airbus Station. Look out for the Deadpool statue. Links to Boom and Mini Boom's Facebook page is in the video's description below. Now, with all that aside, please enjoy the video. Hello my let's play Max Payne for the PC. So the last time we um, took down Boris Dines, but we tried to contact Jack Labino trying to cut a deal trying to get the um, the ship and a cargo hostage. So the meetup was in Jack Lapino's restaurant. Unfortunately, um, the whole meetup was a trap thanks to G and obviously so the restaurant was basically deliberately set on fire. So we took matters in our own hands, took the, went on the non-direct assault in the Lampino's mansion, <coughs> taking, taking down the trio and Lapino himself. Unfortunately, as we, after which, we encountered a mysterious woman who seems to be behind the Val, behind Valkyr. So unfortunately, we got a basically the the little swine gave us an overdose of Valkyr. So we pretty much have to go through a nightmare section. Now we are here in the Cold Steel Foundry. So, yeah. Although that we seem to be... Okay, so I've got a timer. I have the timer ready. I think, or at least I think I do. Okay, so I've got 40... So it seems that we're just starting at the very beginning of the chapter. Which is really almost working. Snow fell like confetti over the Devil's Parade. The storm was anything but over. For P thanks to Pierre from my Discord server. Search and um, the problem with the bomb in the will hopefully be able to get fixed. So Pierre, if you if you think the audio balance is better, let me know in the comments. 
Engaging hostile. Two minutes on the clock. No, we give you time to save. Talking military lingo could mean only one thing. They were getting ready to destroy the evidence and vanish into the night. I was so close. The hidden truths were just around the corner. Oh, okay. So that's it. <laughs> so we now have. 39 minutes on the clock. So we are. Guessing we are pretty much. Folder on the table, folder grip. The mercenaries were running a tight operation, paperwork and all. Merchandise missing again. A chemist had tried to smuggle it out for his own private party. Locked him up in cell B7 and D6's old test facility to wait for proper processing. I was close enough to hear the secrets, just beyond the next doorway. Hold on. 
table told a grim tale. He's currently in Pennsylvania. Apparently he was watching, he went in to watch the Pittsburgh Penguins against the Toronto Maple Leafs. Now you don't want the time for an open question. Which NHL team would you say is your favorite? Let me know down in the comments. Mercenaries were running a tight operation, paperwork and all. Merchandise missing again. A chemist had tried to smuggle it out for his own private party. Locked him up in cell B7 and D6's old test facility to wait for proper processing. I was close enough to hear the secrets, just beyond the next doorway.
showed me the way. Processing diagrams fill the control room screens, all but one. An elevator titled D6 on one of the screens, somewhere onwards, past rows of ovens, in the core of the plant. showed me the way. Processing diagrams fill the control room screens. All but one. An elevator titled D6 on one of the screens, somewhere onwards, past rows of ovens, in the core of the plant. monitor showed me the way. Processing diagrams fill the control room screens, all but one. An elevator titled D6 on one of the screens, somewhere onwards, past rows of ovens, in the core of the plant.
pursuit of the intruder. progress 16 minutes and 58 seconds on the clock but um, I had taken on the role of the mythic detective Bogart as Marlowe or as Sam Spade going after the Maltese Falcon to unravel all the mysteries following a path of clues to that final revelation, even if it would take me down to the cold, cavernous depths of a grave. Oh, you can't do this! My men are still inside! Do you have any idea why this is called Operation Dead Eyes? I think he's dead already. Let's do it. in the Valkyr case, the door code was a mystery to me. when he died. The half-life of the lab rat had ended online, his password blinking on the screen. 665, the neighbor of the beast.
Okay, it's in the middle. So we've got 11 minutes and it's on the clock. gonna die in there for sure. I need you to get me through the decontamination chamber Attention airlock. All personnel. You're crazy! The no way! The place is blowing up! Initiated. Either Proceed that to the or nearest back to the cell. Immediately. Your choice. Okay! Okay! I'll do it! I'll do it! in the middle of the deadly web that was the Valkyr case. 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 Top secret, Project Valhalla, U.S. Army, Yggdrasil Network. Valhalla, the otherworldly place in Norse mythology where the bravest heroes spent their afterlife feasting and fighting forever, their wounds miraculously healed night after night. Valkyr, the maidens who chose the most courageous Viking warriors and carried them to Valhalla. 1991. The research objective is to create a chemical substance to enhance the stamina and morale of infantry troops. 1995. Results unsatisfactory. 
Project canceled. Someone had decided to continue the sick experiment unauthorized. Project compromised. Data leak. Fix the damage by any means necessary. Security clearance red. Authorized by the project lead. Field test. Double the dosage for all the remaining test subjects. Observe and record the subject's behavior in an urban setting. The drop-off point was my old address in New Jersey. The file dated three years ago. Just when you thought you had reached the deepest depths of horror, it suddenly got worse. How to turn off that small voice inside your head that started to whisper that you should be glad that now, if not before, your revenge was justifiable on any conceivable moral scale. That small voice proved, beyond any doubt, that I was damned. The logo on the screen. The dagger-heeled woman had come and gone a long time ago. There was nothing more for me here. The bunker's name was acting as self filling prophecy. together a jigsaw and the final picture is you finishing that same puzzle a mad green-eyed killer standing behind you an urban legend come true the project Valhalla test subjects had been the mad junkies who had murdered my loved ones the rest was simple body count math it all pointed to her Ms. Valkyr the factory went up in a fiery inferno behind me all my leads were dead turned to smoke and dust I lost my way I hadn't slept in a million years Okay, so let's pause this timer. So I've got 2 minutes and 57 seconds on the clock. I felt thin as death. I've been living on an endless supply of weak old donuts. They were fuel for this crazy furnace inside my head. I couldn't remember when I had last seen the sun. I was on a permanent graveyard shift. When the darkness fell, New York City became something else, any old Sinatra song notwithstanding. Bad things happened in the night, on the streets of that other city, Noir York City. I was in an all-night diner, downing cup after cup of coffee that tasted like engine oil, when a new message from BB got me back on the killer track. What the hell happened at Roscoe Street? Maxie, I'm going out on a limb here. We need to talk this through. Come up with a plan. 2.30 a.m., the Choir Communications Garage. The more I thought about Alex's murder in the frame-up, the more it felt like an inside job. I should have seen it coming. BB had sold me out, and now he wanted to finish what he'd started. The garage was dead. BB showed up in his tailor-made suit, gold watch, and cufflinks to match. 
all way beyond a cop's pay. Maxi. Oozing suave charm, he was guilty as hell. What the hell does BB stand for anyway? Backstabbing bastard? Come on, don't be like that. Have a cigar. I don't smoke. Maxi, you have no idea how big this is. It's huge. You have no idea. I think I do. You're a bribe taken bent cop who sold out his partner. Those mobsters in the subway were a dead giveaway. Hard to miss. Bet it was exactly like this with Alex. Up close and personal. You can't win this one, Max. No, but I can make damn sure none of you do either. BB turned out to be another cardboard cutout bad guy. cop on the take, a cowardly right-hand man fleeing from the scene, leaving his paid thugs to do his dirty work. 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 Fifty-five seconds on the clock. That will be all for tonight, and I will see you guys next time where we'll be able to hunt down BB.